No fucking way. No fucking way. No way, no way, no way, Jose. That is not the case. Fuck that. No way. No, no, no. All right. Anyway, the, this whole chapter, Shokugeki no Soma, is basically hype for who Soma and Aldini is gonna, are, are they, who are they gonna face off against? And that's basically the whole point of this chapter. They're all excited. They meet with one of the Elite Ten and she tells them, oh, you know, you're gonna go against the, uh, the other Elite Ten in the competition. There's not gonna be underhanded tactics. We find out in the previous chapters that the, the other, the past um, professors or whatever, the bitches that were doing the, uh, the cheating, we're doing it on their own accord. They were not ordered from the higher ups to do this. So that means we're done with that. Oh, those past two chapters are fucking annoying me. But I, I'm glad we're done with that. We're getting to the juicy meat of this arc where it's getting hyped up. We have real battles now. No cheating. Fuck that shit. I'm so hyped right now because the chapter's really simple though. Because towards the end, we end up finding out who Soma is going up against. And uh, Edding is kind of still worried about what uh, the Elite Ten might still do, which is why she was asking uh, the other uh, Totsuki, Totsuki member, I can't remember her name right now, sorry, uh, if they weren't going to do any of that bullshit. And she said that she wasn't, so hopefully they keep to their word. Uh, at first, I was like thinking, oh my god, what if they put Soma against Edina? That'd be fucked up. I'm like thinking, like, no way, they're not going to do that. No way. And I almost thought that was going to happen when, they fi when we find out who the opponent is for Yukihira uh, uh, when he's going up against the next round. We see the long flowy hair, it looks all beautiful and stuff. I'm like, is that, what? Wait, what? No, Aiden's right there, what's going on? It's Hayama. What the hell? What? He's part of the Elite 10 now. Rank number nine, ahead of Edina. Do they think he's better than Edina or is they just putting him there because they needed a replacement? Now here's the funny thing is you would think that he would be part of the rebellion because he too was with the 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 spice uh, club or uh, the curry club with Shiomi and uh, I'm thinking like he says that oh that club is dead now and now they ask her oh, what happened to your senpai and he doesn't really answer it so they're kind of shocked it's like wait it's got to be a mistake why are you part of Central and he doesn't really and he doesn't even go by it. oh you've been and he tells Yukihira you've just been wasting your time going against the uh, 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 Azami and Central I've been working on my craft and Yukihira gets all this serious face he's like what the fuck he's like uh, I have so many questions I want to ask you, but right now I just want to beat you and stuff like that. And I'm just like curious. I was like, why the hell is Haima on the side of Central? Now, at the beginning of this video, I was saying no way because it's pretty obvious. He's like probably like an inside job or he's going to betray Central. He's probably like inside intelligence. Either his, it, it was probably a sensei who gave him an idea. That's pretty much what it is. Either that or they have Black Bell on him. There's no way. He's buying into Central's, um, you know, uh, thoughts and the way of their cooking. Because knowing his background and the way he grew up and him being in Totsuki for so long, there's no way in my, there's no doubt in my mind that he has not betrayed them. But there is a reason why he's doing this. I think that part's pretty obvious. What is exciting is him going up against Yukihira to see how much each of them have grown. Because in my opinion, if you go by ranking style, he goes, I think... Uh, Yukihira and Aldini and uh, Korikiba are on the same level because even though Aldini got like knocked out earlier in the tournament, he went against Mimasaki Suguru who has like a really unique style that it's almost impossible to beat if you're kind of blindsided by it. But Yukihira was able to beat him because he knew what he was going up against. He was very able to prepare for it. So I still think Takumi uh, and, uh, and Soma are on the same level along with Korikiba. And I think Haima is just barely above him, just barely, a little bit, a little bit, as if you go by, you know, head to head. So I'm curious on who they're going to go up against. I, I'm, no, I'm curious on how the match is going to go, and I'm curious who Aldine is going to go. And I wonder who Megumi is going to go up against. You know, the Elite Ten, some of them were taken out. You know, uh, Ishiki Senpai was taken out, some of the other ones, the ones I really liked. And I'm curious about these new characters that they're going to be possibly going up against. Uh, I'm a little afraid of for Megumi, who she's going up against, because uh, earlier in my videos, I was wondering who was going to be expelled. So this is probably the opportunity where one of the classmates or one of the rebellions, one of the rebels, might be taken out. I'm so nervous about that. I'll give this chapter a uh, 4 out of 5. This was a, a really good hype chapter, really good build-up chapter. I'm really excited for this next coming, this the, the coming arc. 
because now shit's getting real now. Shit's getting real. I didn't like the previous chapters, but this is these are good chapters, man. Fan turret out.